All right, so first thing you're going to notice uh, when you when you go to hack this game uh, is that you can't run Cheat Engine. Uh, it immediately closes, and it, there isn't much anti-debug stuff built into the game, um, and it does scan for the, the string Cheat Engine, uh, either in window name or maybe uh, paths to processes that are currently running, and possibly strings in the executable as well. And so... What we'll do here is uh, we'll modify all that so we can bypass it. So uh, first you want to go to Cheat Engine's website, and if you go to the download page, they have this little portable uh, zip here uh, without the bundleware. So you'll want to grab that, and this way you can keep it separate from your current Cheat Engine uh, installation. And so you'll get this zip file, you'll extract it, and first thing we want to do is just rename it so it doesn't have the Cheat Engine in the... In the folder name open this up you'll see cheatengine.exe and this is basically just a stub that gen opens the correct version and so the actual one we want to mo want to modify is right here and so we'll just rename it to ce.exe and then we're going to put it into our hex editor and open this up and then we're going to do a find and replace on cheat engine and we're going to replace it uh, with this string here. And so you want to replace all. And then you want to also do the same thing for Unicode. So that'll get two more. And then you want to save it. So now it's saved. And uh, now when we run it, it should, the game doesn't close. So we've bypassed that detection mechanism there. And the next part of this is go to your debugger options. And... It's normally using Windows Debugger, but everyone goes straight to VAH because that bypasses half the stuff you run into. Um, so n both of these will not work. The, when you use VAH Debugger, it gives you, um, it could not initialize uh, the VAH uh, functionality from the VAH DLL that Cheat Engine has. And so these breakpoints as well, none of those are going to work either. So we're only left with uh, DBVM. Uh, which is something that Darkbyte's uh, kernel mode driver uses. So we're going to set that to work. And if you go to help and then about, you'll see that your system does support DBVM. And if you were to click on that, it would then load the driver and, and it would start working. Um, but what you'll run into is that it can't, it can't load. And the reason for that is because Darkbyte built in some protection um, because he didn't want malware authors to abuse uh, that system driver. So, you'll see these signature files in here, and these are for the executables. And so, the kernel mode driver cannot talk uh, to the cheat, a cheat engine executable that is not signed uh, by Darkbyte himself. Um, so, there's not much you can do there. What you can do is compile uh, your own uh dbk64 and then you can load it as an unsigned driver so i've already went ahead and i've done that i've compiled my own unsigned version of this uh just by using his github and a few other things and uh if you go i'll link in the description the download uh, the thread with the downloads um it will include the cheat engine that's been modified already and then the dbk x64 system driver so You'll just go into your C folder. You will paste it in. First, we want to close this. Uh, paste. We're going to replace the file. Just in case that kernel mode driver has been loaded, we're going to unload it. And he, he's that utility is right there for you. So now it's unloaded. So now we can go up and reopen Cheat Engine. And now, with some luck, now, before we enable it, you do need to uh, reboot the computer and disable driver signature enforcement. And so, you do, depending on which OS you have, there's two different ways. Basically, with Windows 10, you will hold the shift button when you do a restart, and it will give you the option. Uh, you'll basically go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and then startup settings, and then you'll see uh, the driver signature enforcement. And with uh, Windows 7, you just restart and hit F8 to get to the uh, advanced boot options. So once you're in, then you can then you can hit the button in your 
and it'll work. Um, so there's no permanent way to disable driver enforcement on Windows 10. That's easy. Um, so basically just do this every time uh, you need it. When we click this, it will work. You see it wants to load. Do you want to run? Yes, we do. Your system is now running. So this is awesome. So now let's attach to the game. And here it is. And Microsoft's going to give you this nice message. Uh, Windows blocked the installation of the driver. Uh, I think that just might be a glitch because uh, this was working earlier. Yeah, so this just appears to be a weird glitch here. So basically in the memory viewer, um, we want to do a debug and we want to go to break. And so this lists all the threads that are currently running. Uh, let's pick one down here and see if we can't get a break to occur. All right, so let's put a breakpoint and it actually works, uh, which is awesome. So there was no other way to do this that uh, I could figure out. This was the easiest way. Um, so as you can see, it does work. Uh, we can step the code just like that. And pretty cool. We did it. Now, I haven't tested this completely. I was able to uh, step through some code. I did have a, a couple of blue screens, though. So I think your mileage will vary uh, with DBVM. And hey, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share to your friends. Check us out, guidedhacking.com. And uh, definitely check us out on the Discord, too. Discord.gg slash guidedhacking. Take it easy.